friends, it's Miss Eliza, children's librarian at the Waukee Public Library. And for this week's space-themed elementary, Maker Monday, we are going to be making paper plate rocket ship mazes. Yeah, so you can make a paper plate maze with any design that you like, but since it's space week, we are going to be using the power of magnets to move a spaceship into our nebula. And you should be able to move it all around your maze using the power of magnets. So for this project, you're going to need a paper plate, any old paper plate will do. And then to do the maze part itself, you're going to want a pencil with an eraser, and that's really important. We'll get to that in a minute. And then you're going to want uh, markers to decorate with and also to outline the ultimate borders of your maze. And then you're also going to want a couple things that are circular that you can trace. And that's just gonna help you get that basic outline. So you can use anything you have at home, maybe a bowl and a container and a glass overturned might be helpful, but anything you have that's circular will do. And then for the moving part here on the front side of your maze, you are going to want to cut out or draw a shape, whatever you like. So since we're doing space themed, we've got rocket ships here and you can draw your own or cut one out. Um, but you could do this with anything, really. You might wanna do a fish that's trying to get to a coral reef or a puppy that's trying to get into their dog house. Um, you can do anything with these mazes. But for this space one, we've got a rocket ship cut out and then you're gonna design the rest of it yourself. So after that, you're going to want to make sure you have two magnets and these nice big magnets that stick together independently are really the best ones to use for this project. If you have like a refrigerator magnet, that might not be quite strong enough, but if you can get them to stick like that, if they're drawn together, then those ones will work. And then you're going to need um, either a dowel or this is one half of a chopstick. Um, so just something that's smooth and a little bit long. And then you're going to need some glue to stick those together. I've got hot glue here, but it will work with white glue. It'll just take a little bit too long for the video. All right, to get started, you're gonna to wanna to draw out your maze. So mazes sometimes can look really complicated and they can definitely get really complicated because you can always add more. But for a basic maze um, like this one, we're just going to base it off of circles. So what you wanna do is take your plate so that it's facing up and then trace some circles around in concentric patterns. So that means that one goes inside the other. We've got this basic circle, that's the plate, and then we're gonna trace this circle on the inside of that circle so it'll end up kind of looking like a target. So I'm gonna draw some circles and I'll be back in a second. So if you can see, I used my pencil to draw some circles that are concentric. So I started with the biggest one, and then I went in a little bit more and drew a smaller one, a smaller one, and then I even just hand drew this little one in the center. They don't have to be perfect because it is a maze. So I drew these in pencil, and that's important because to work through a maze, you have to find openings and paths to take your little object through. So we are going to now go onto each circle and erase a piece about an inch wide so that there's some place for our object to go through. So you can kind of pick where you want this to be open and you can make other openings too. Like I said, this can get as complicated as you want, but I'm just gonna show you a really simple version of a maze that just has one opening um, for each circle. So you've got an opening on the middle circle and then each additional ring has an opening um, somewhere around it. And then you've got one opening on that outside circle, which will be where your maze will start. So once you've got those done, you can go ahead and outline in marker. Okay, we've got our starting point and our ending point and a couple little openings on each 
um, circle. And then you wanna make some barriers to really throw somebody off if they're trying to get through your maze. So then you're just gonna draw a connecting line between circles and you just wanna make sure that you're not boxing your object in. So if you do one opening and one line on each ring, you should be okay. Once you start adding more than one, it does get a little bit more complicated. Um, so for this simple one, we're just gonna add one little line between each ring. There's one there, there's one there, and this last one I'll put there. All right. So now we've got our basic maze design. And like I said, there is a lot of things you can do with this. You can make these super complicated. You can add a ton of different rings. You can make different shapes in there. You can make a lot of dead ends. You just wanna be sure you can solve it. So it's kind of trial and error when you add some of those more complicated things. Um, so once you've reached this point, you can go ahead and decorate it however you like and decide something that you want to be in the center, the goal for your little object. <laughs> So I'm going to switch to using this one because we have our little nebula that we drew inside and our little rocket ship. And then I'm going to show you how you can attach that. So you've got your dowel and you've got your little um, spaceship or whatever it is that you're um, doing. And you just want to make sure that you glue the magnets um, to the back of each of those, but you want them to be able to connect because they have to be able to reach each other through the paper plate. So test it out first. Take your two magnets. Let me get these two and test them out. And this is the direction that they connect, the positive and the negative side are meeting. So I'm gonna put that down on the table so I don't forget. And then I'm going to take my glue and add one dot of glue right to that top magnet and then put on my little object that's gonna be, in this case, we have a little Millennium Falcon that's gonna be going through this maze. And then when you've got that glued on, you're gonna flip it over and take your dowel and add a piece of glue to that or to the magnet and then stick that on and let that dry. So by doing it that way, connecting the magnets first and then adding the two pieces, you can be sure that your magnets are going to connect the right way. And then you're gonna to wanna to let this dry. So even with hot glue, it's gonna take a second. If you're using white glue, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but that's a really good thing to do while you're decorating your maze. And then when you're all set, you can pull apart your magnets Put the, uh, your little object, like our Millennium Falcon, flat right on your paper plate, and then use the dowel underneath to move your spaceship around the maze, making sure that you don't run into any of the barriers. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. I gotta back it up. <laughs> so you don't wanna hit any of the barriers. You've gotta hit the opening. So now we'll try going around this way. We'll take this little guy, swing it around, and finally make it into the center. So I hope that you have fun making these little paper plate mazes. Like I said, you can get pretty complicated with these and make a whole bunch of different themes. So they'd be really fun to make and give to somebody else to play with as well. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.